All right, so today we're going to be talking about this. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is a self-heating instant hot pot. Uh, if you ever walked past your local Asian grocery store and you've always wondered, I wonder what's in there, or I wonder what each of these individual items are, then stay tuned. Uh, we're going to go out and check out more cool things. Dude, because I'm telling you, instant Asian foods are so next level. Alright, um, it's called the Zi Hai Guo, which is self high pot, uh, which has nothing to do with being high on pot. Um, it it kind of means like being high on life, uh, and this pot in itself is so happy that it's high on life. Um, uh, the, the meal that we'll be having today is this uh, like pickled cabbage with a braised, uh, I think this is typically braised pork um, with rice. Uh, and this says that this is a self-heating pot. We're going to jump cut and we're going to check out what's in this. And as you can see here, the lid itself uh, actually contains the instructions. I'm really sorry for the bad lighting here. I, I don't have my ring light with me, unfortunately. Um, and basically, I mean, you can, you can tell just by looking at the pictures. This is uh, add your ingredients, add the water, sit your, sit your additional tray. So there's a, a secondary tray that you put your ingredients in and that sort of uh, cooks from the steam from the water. So it's a pretty innovative way that I don't think we really use much in the West um, outside of actual MREs for the army and camping and whatnot. All right, let's get this sucker open. There's a little vent in the lid that uh, that obviously lets uh, steam pass through. So this is our water pouch. They actually give you a, a pouch of, of water, which is, uh, which is really interesting. your spoon this is a uh, this is sauce I think this might be so this is actually sauce that you add after you cooked Here's our little cooking tray. It's it's foil, so you you're not actually cooking anything on a on like plastic. Whether I'm I'm hoping this plastic is BPA free. It is Chinese, and their their regulations tend to be a lot more lax than ours here in the West. So you never know. All right, we'll get into our first ingredient here, and this is obviously rice. Uh, it's dry. It's just normal dried rice. On to the next ingredient here. So this is the uh, onto the next ingredient here. This is the actual uh, self-heating element. And last but not least, that is the last ingredient there. This is uh, this is the actual vegetables. Okay, so I've just been reading the instructions here. Um, we do just combine everything into this, including this water, and you add additional cold water yourself. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot of vegetables, bit of meat, it's in a normal sort of retort pouch. A very a lot of strong Asian smelling spices. Just gonna add the water. Now we take the self-heating element. We get our big bucket. And we put this in here, and we fill it up to the water line. Place our meal on top of the self-heating element, and we put the lid over it. Cool. 
Oh yeah, you can really hear that steaming. I'm gonna move this back. Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see this. But there is a lot of steam coming out of that. Alright guys, it's been 15 minutes. Man, this thing is still really steamy out of here. You can really see this out of this gap. Check it out. Oh man, there's a lot of condensation on the top lid. I'm gonna take the little handy supplied mini spork. Oh yeah, that is cooked through all right. The rice, it feels soft. Definitely feels like it's cooked rice. And now we're on to our last step, which is adding sauce. So this is the last step, which is the sauce that you add when everything is already cooked. Mm, it smells really aromatic. It is a really strong, really pleasant, uh, savory, rich, spiced, pickled smell from the cabbage, obviously. Honestly, this is so next level. It cost about, I think, I think this one was about twelve dollars. I have a few coming up in a in separate review that I'll be doing. There's a, there's a whole variety of these and I'll be running you guys through all of them. Man, the self-heating element is still going. Alright, I'm just gonna get a nice sporkful of everything here. We got some... They look like, they look like some sort of bean, maybe like a soybean. Got some meat there. Nice bit of rice, pork. All right, I'm gonna give this a try. Oh man, that really is steaming hot. And it helps that the heating element is still going. I know it doesn't look particularly appetizing guys, but this is really good. This definitely tastes as good as any Chinese takeaway meal that you're gonna get. I mean, it's it's salty, but not incredibly salty. It doesn't taste like they've overspiced this, like some cheaper Chinese takeaways do. I mean, if you're in a pinch and you need a meal just ready to go, a nice hot meal, this is, mm, this is really good. The rice is soft and fluffy. The meat is really tender. It's not, it's not tough or chewy at all. And the beans and vegetables combined with the sauce, there's a, there's a lot of flavor in this. You could definitely finish this as one person and be really full. I'm going to enjoy this off camera, guys. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment for what else you'd like to see. I got a whole bunch of more reviews coming up for this. This was the self-heating instant pot meal. The brand is Self High Pot which once again has nothing to do with drugs. It's all about the happiness and being high on life. Just like I am right now, this is a really good meal. Thanks guys.